Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress Cobalt Empire. The Empire on the Sea. So, in our last episode, uh, we... Basically, we we made sure that the dwarf, the glassmaker, didn't go crazy by building another furnace, another glassmaking furnace, sending another dwarf to collect sand, only to find out that he didn't want sand, he actually legit wanted the glass. So then we had to make the glass, and then he wanted more, so we had to turn out three different pieces of glass, and finally he was sated and made a beautiful gem, so uh, it was worth it, I guess. Uh, and then uh, we continued kind of working towards getting our channel done. Uh, apparently our dwarves are really, really good at climbing out of small areas. And at the very, very end of the video, uh, we received notification that a human caravan is coming in. So, let's go ahead and get our goods out here for trade. We want to uh, request our trader and then we want to move finished goods. So we'll just mark uh, everything here, shift enter, we'll mark everything that's visible on the screen. And then large cut gems, very good. Uh, let's go ahead, gem, gem bin, yep, small cut gems, yeah, we want those too. Is there anything else we want? A uh, mug? Or any other mugs? No. Okay. So I think that's good, right? Right. We can't sell the artifact, or I would. I would sell it. It's probably worth quite a bit, if I had to guess. Uh, why don't we take a look at it? Let's just take a look at it. Uh, let's find it. Where would it be? Where would it be? Um, cut gems? No. Nope. No, I don't think it'd be under that, would it? I don't know where it would be. Let's search uh, glass. Then we'll just kind of uh, <laughs> glass eye fish. No, no, it's not what I'm looking for. What do we got here? There it is. There it is. So it was under. It was under large gems. Okay, uh, Kamak Vukar. Let's take a look at it. Let's view it. Uh, okay. What's the description? This is a perfect, perfect green glass gem. All crafts dwarfship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of cushion cut green glass gems. This object menaces with spikes of green glass. On the item is an image of cushion cut gems in green glass. So not very, I don't know, Doesn't seems pretty, pretty normal except for the uh, menacing spikes of green glass. How much was it worth? Uh, 10,000 dwarf bucks. So, not too bad, not too bad. And did that end up, did he get uh, like a master, like, is he a master glass cutter now? Where's our glass? It, it depends, it all depends on what kind of mood they got. Yes, he is. He is, because, uh, well, that's very strange. It says he created crafted pre-sterns maybe that's the uh, translated name is is pre-sterns so now anytime that we do glass making um he is legendary so it might actually be a good idea for us to uh actually get into glass making just uh would basically take you know collecting sand and uh you know making making the glass three dogs mark for slaughter huh okay are we ready to trade Actually, let's look at our jobs. See if we have any jobs for uh, hauling to the depot. Trade at depot, I see. Looks like everything's there. Trade. How much uh, dwarf bucks do we have? 47,000. So this is a lot better than uh, situation than we were in last year where we didn't hardly have anything. So what do we want to get here? What do we want to get? Uh, I don't think we need any of the metal... Do, 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 do. Rope, nah. Uh, cabbie board, no. Nope, nope, nope. Mmm, sharks. Blue shark blood. Yeah, that's my drink of choice. 
Um, take the prickleberry wine and the blackberry wine and the raspberry wine and although probably for dwarves this kind of human drink is probably very weak and unsatisfying it still is classified as alcohol sperm whale blood right lots of fish blood is what these guys really are into selling and uh, owl blood Ooh. How would you like to be the person in charge of that? Yeah, I want you to go kill that sperm whale and barrel up its blood. No thanks. Okay, we don't really need any of that. Um, we're not going to buy the above ground seeds. But I think we will go ahead and start picking up uh, like flour to cook with. To fill out our meals. Quinoa. Quinoa is actually really good. Or quinoa, I think is actually how you're supposed to say it. Quinoa. Uh, it's a superfood. It's really, really good though. Uh, my wife and I, we discovered it while we were in Korea. Now, it's not a Korean thing. It's it's a worldwide thing, I think. But uh, it like, whenever you cook it in water, it just like expands. And it's just really, really good. And it's very, very good for you. Okay, we're going to take all of the cloth and leather. Good. See, humans are always really good about bringing a ton of uh, cloth. Very good. Whoa, no, no sticky keys. No, no sticky keys. No. All right. Um... And the more that you buy from them, the more they're going to bring next time. So because we're buying them out this time, we're going to send them away with a lot of profit. They're probably going to come back with a ton next year. We could buy some bolts, but eh, I don't think it's necessary. Uh, I probably will go ahead and buy another anvil. And then we'll load up on the food here. And then what we're going to start doing is we're going to start cooking. Start making some meals, some easy meals. Grab some cheese. You know me, I loves my cheese. I loves my cheese. All right, I think that's probably going to be good enough. So uh, we could buy some animals. Like we could, um, we could buy like the horse. We could also go for like the guinea hen and start trying to do some eggs but uh, I don't think I'm really like into that right now I think we have enough like irons in the fire at this point to keep us kind of busy so I'm not like in a rush to commit to doing a bunch more stuff so they're probably gonna want about 5,000 dwarf bucks worth of profit which is completely fine I don't mind overpaying uh, quite a bit whenever we have a lot of a lot of dwarf bucks kicking around so yeah, that'll be good. They'll probably be pretty ecstatic with that, I'd imagine. Yeah. And then that means I, I'm hopefully that uh, next year they'll come back with even more, which is what we want. All right, so let's move this stuff uh, out. Move it out. Move it on out. Very good. All right, let's attend to our let's attend to our um, our channel here. Let's see if we can get this thing straightened out once and for all. We're definitely going to be uh, getting that gold out of there. That is going to happen. Going to happen. All right. Uh, so it looks like we need to restart it here. Yeah, we're gonna mine that. We're gonna mine the hell out of that gold and that silver. We're gonna. I mean, we got a lot. We, you know, despite the fact that there's no fuel here, this is actually a pretty good embark. It really is. And I've had really good embarks um, with ocean biomes before. They just seem to have a lot of really good metals. So, all right. How much further down do we need to go? I don't think much. Uh, well, uh, a ways. Still a ways. You finished already? 
Okay, no. Not finished yet. Like, I've never done a pure ocean embark before. I've done embarks that have had ocean and fresh water on them. Are you kidding me? You went down two layers, dude. Don't be lazy. Maybe it has something to do with, like, the, the stone generation. Like, if it generates a stone, maybe it's blocked or something. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just, I just do what I'm told. You know, I was told ocean embark, so we must do this. We must make this. We must make this happen. All right, so what's happening up top? Top side. Uh, probably not a bad idea to kick out some more bedrooms before too long here. It looks like we're still smoothing. Uh, we do. What just happened here? Migrants. Okay, yeah, we definitely are going to need to kick out some bedrooms pretty quick, depending on how big that is. Um, all right, so we wanted to go ahead and start making some food. Let's go ahead and make some easy meals. Uh, probably starting, probably whenever the dwarf caravan comes in the fall, depending on how much food they bring, we probably will begin uh, making lavish meals, which will really, really kick up the uh, enjoyment level for the dwarfs. Have we encountered any more gems? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet, sir. How is the wood stockpile going? Okay, wood's still looking good. Looking strong. Wood be strong. Uh, I think we're okay on our farm plot right now because what I'm doing, what I'm thinking about doing here is uh, when the Dwarven Caravan comes in about two or three months, we're going to go ahead and start our first plot of other things. Probably, I'd really, really like to get rock nuts going. Yeah, rock nuts would be good. You know, quarry bushes and um, dimple cups, things like that. All right, so did we finish our smith? It looks like we did finish our smithing. So let's look at our military screen. Squeen? Military screen? And uh, check out their equipment. So they're missing footwear and weapon. That's what they're missing at this point. Okay, so let's go ahead and make their footwear. Right now they're just wrestling, and that's fine too. So we want to make bronze boot. Uh, high boot or low boot? Let's go high boot. Boot. All the boot. I'm Canadian. Uh, anyways, I'm not actually Canadian. I'm Southern, if you couldn't tell from my really, really thick accent. I am a Southern American. Not South American, Southern American. Although being being South American, there's nothing wrong with being South American. I have friends who are of a South American heritage. They're very lovely people. Okay, so we're doing some slaughtering. Just gonna add uh, add to the fun here. Why don't we go ahead and I think we probably need to make some more bags. That's what I'm thinking. So let's kick out some cloth bags. I want to kick out uh, four. Let's make four cloth bags. And then we can go ahead. We have leather. So, you know, we can start to prepare some leather armor for our archer squad that we're going to want to have eventually. So we'll make leather armor. Uh, nope, 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 nope. I hit the wrong buttons a lot, guys. Uh, I The reason I did it the wrong way. I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it through the manager. Leather armor. Ten leather leggings. Ten. Just getting it started. Just getting the ball rolling. Alright, let's pause up the game and see... Uh, about our new arrivals. It looks like we only got maybe like 10. Nine. We got nine new arrivals. But I do see some nice full squares. We like that. What do we got here? Um, we have a carpenter. Okay, sure. It's not bad to have another carpenter. Uh, woodcrafter. Mm, Alright. 
Uh, another animal caretaker, sure. Ooh, what's this guy? A gelder. Woof. He is a beast at gelding. Give him an animal and he will geld it in no time flat. Not actually messed with gelding too much. Uh, actually at all in this game. <laughs> and, and definitely not in real life. Uh, anyways. Uh, wow, good. Good, 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 good. Some bone doctors, a wound dresser. I always like to see more people with this floating about. That's always good. Uh, another good, good farmer, a wood burner, which is kind of ironic because somebody's burning wood uh, right around where I live right now. Either that or I'm actually, I might be having a stroke. So, uh, you know, if like in this video, uh, well, if you actually are hearing this in the video, you can safely conclude that I probably didn't have a stroke because if I had a stroke and died, then uh, who's going to upload the video? Ha! Uh, moving on. And, uh, okay, a uh, plant processor, a uh, brewer and a cook, a few different cooks, a uh, novice metalsmith, uh, an accomplished metal crafter, good, good, gem setter, uh, gla another glass maker, would have been handy earlier. Uh, actually, we have a few glass makers, that's strange. What about military? Okay, so we have some military people here that we can... Well, we've got one, really. And then uh, this person actually has some proficiency with, like, the basic uh, military skills. Uh, they're, they're a novice biter. But, um, yeah, they, they, basically they're trainable. They're a little, bit, a little bit above what I would consider a peasant to be. So this was our uh, wood burner, so I'm pretty fine with putting them in that position, and this was our wood crafter. So uh, we're kind of at the point in the game now already where we're, unless it's like a really super, super critical job, um, we're, we're kind of insulated from, you know, if somebody comes in and they're, they've got military uh, background, they're probably going to end up being in the military. So, all right, well, it's coming along pretty nicely. Our little squad is going to be... Uh, you know, beating the crap out of each other very, very soon. In fact, they probably already are. All right. Um, I'm sure we probably need to... No, actually, they're still going there. Uh, okay. Still cooking. Good, 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 good. All right. Uh, yep. Let's check on our channel. Checking, checking, checking. We're getting there, guys. We're slowly getting there. We're making it. We're making it happen. How many more do we got? Not many. Oh my god, we're almost there. We're sweet, sweet baby Jesus. We're almost there. I'm just gonna hang out so that we can see, you know, we can we can get this finished. And if any of you guys that are watching you know, know why they want channel straight down, please enlighten me. Please don't withhold that information. I mean, it is pretty funny to watch me kind of bitch about it, but, or listen to me bitch about it, but, um, really? Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I've had, a, had some people comment, they're like, what's going on? Why is that happening? So a lot of people are in the kind of the same boat as me. When you look on the wiki, the wiki has a wealth of information. So if you haven't checked that out and you're a Dwarf Fortress player, I recommend actually just keeping the wiki open at all times next to you. Uh, because, you know, I've been playing Dwarf Fortress now for, you know, off and on for two years. It's not something that, like, I play all the time, like... Usually, I the kind of gamer I am, I go through spurts with things, and I think that's pretty normal. Like, I'll play a game pretty hardcore for maybe a month or two, and then either another game will come out, or um, some other game that I already have will grab my attention. And, you know, I've been doing Dwarf Fortress off and on for like a year or two now, and I, there's still a ton of stuff that I have no clue about. So... I keep the wiki open all the time. I think it has something to do with stones. Did we get all the way to the bottom? I think we might have. Let's try. Let's let's make a channel right here. Okay. And then uh, we'll know. What how we'll know basically is whenever he channels that, we'll go back up to the top floor. And uh, we'll check, we'll check on our well, and if it's uh, if it's clear, all the way to the bottom, then we'll actually have to build our well first. But okay, so here we have mist, open space. That's kind of cool. 
open space. So we should see open space. That's really cool, that mist. Uh, we should see open space all the way up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh. That might not be good. It needs to be open space all the way down. What happened here? All right, here's what I'm gonna try to do. Yeah, it's not it's not uh, channeled out. I'm gonna open up. Uh, I'm gonna open up some space here. We don't want to send them directly down because what'll happen if we if they channel that uh, without without somewhere to go, they will fall all the way down and they'll die. And that still might happen. That still might happen actually. Hopefully not. And if it does happen, hopefully it's hopefully it's nobody we actually uh, care about. All right, so we need to uh, we need to build a well. I think we already have everything for it. Oh, what happened to our chain? I thought we made a chain. We made a chain. What happened to the chain? Somebody wearing that thing around their neck. Where's my chain? Oh, did I not make a chain? I swear I made a chain. I swear I made a chain. Guys, you you saw it. Did, you, did I make a chain? You guys tell me. Did I make a chain? I swear I made a silver chain. I swear. Nobody's working on mining that out yet. So looks like the high boots are almost done. Everybody's staying busy. That's very, very good. I think in our next video, I'm about to call this one to close. I just want to get, I want to get that well set up. Or at least started high boot done good <laughs> I think that was the militia squad all coming to grab their boots that's pretty funny uh, so they I think they should be all equipped except for weapons now I think uh, no I thought I made 10 helms I thought I made 10 helms, 10 legs. I don't know why these guys don't have anything. Maybe they just haven't picked it up yet. Hmm. Uh, okay, so we're out of bronze. Okay, it worked. It worked. It worked. Hopefully nobody's dead. A crab. Oh no, a crab. All right, pause. So we should see open space all the way down. And hopefully we don't see a dwarven body at the bottom. Dead. We don't. Whew. Okay, I was really worried about that, actually. Alright, so now, is the chain done? Needs chain. No, it's not done. Okay, so what we're going to do in our next video is we are going to... When that chain gets finished... We're gonna put our well right here, and it should be done. Which should we should have a well? We should have a source of fresh water at all times. So one thing that we are going to have to remember to do, though, with it is we have to get those grates in there. So we're gonna to want to probably put a grate right here, and then we're going to want to put a grate down at the very bottom too. The reason we want to put a grate right here is because, like, in case actually we can't put a grate right there. Son of a bitch. If we put a grate right there, the, the bucket can't go down. Actually, you're can it. I don't know. We'll have to look at it. Like, I think I'm pretty sure you definitely want to put a grate. So that things can't uh, come up into your fortress. Yeah. I mean that makes a lot of sense. Anyways, uh, in the next video we're gonna take care of that. Uh, we're gonna try. We're gonna start like actually 
we're need, we need to make some more bedrooms and we need to get started digging out uh, silver for our weapons. We're gonna go silver swords, baby. Silver swords. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, game on.